and welcome. My name is Paige and I'm that mother you like to follow. Follow, not, not that other stuff. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to get demonetized before I even get monetized. <laughs> but if you are new, welcome. And if you are watching again for the unteen time, welcome back. Hey, mom. I know my dad ain't watching because he don't even like the name. Hey, my mom, hey, all y'all at work because I know y'all watching now since I done told y'all my name. But what's up? Welcome back. Y'all like my hair? I know I have hair schizophrenia. Don't mind me. It will change often, but that's beside the point. But this past weekend, I was so excited. I went on my first distillery tour. I went with a bunch of my friends from Philly Influencer Mixer. Hey, to be the girl. That's my friend. Hey. We took a tour of this really cool distillery called Boardroom Distillery. You know what? I did a little recap. Just, just let's go watch it. Let's go. Let's go watch. Our journey to the distillery began with some light beverages on the bus. It's me and my friends drinking. That's Camille. There's Davida. And because I have no sense, and they don't either, they encourage me to do this. George, won't you go get a bag of the lethal? I'll be undressed in the bra or see through. Why you count your juice thinking I'm a cheat you? The only one thing I want to do is freak you. Keep your stone set. To after I was done being silly, we went inside the distillery where we were greeted with such a great ambiance. This place is absolutely beautiful. Look at these ceilings, like they were to die for. Next on the agenda was to sample some of their delicious drinks. Mine was the knee buckler. It was rye whiskey, fresh ginger, lime juice, and um, a honey simple syrup. When I mean that drink was absolutely delicious, I'm going to figure out how to make it at home. And here we have it. If I could have had seven of those, I would have, but that would have made out for a very bad time. Like very bad. <laughs> So now came the tour of the actual distillery. They had all this really cool machinery and they also taught us how they started their business and why, you know, being a safe distillery in the United States is really important and how hard it is to open a distillery in the States. Then came the barrel room. This room smelled like whiskey dreams and less than hangover nightmares. Oh, the loveliness that I smelled. If I could have bottled it up and make it a scent, I would. When I'm in, this smells amazing. It smelled amazing. The owner said it smelled like him losing money. I say it smelled like deliciousness. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that we met Chef Robert Irvine from the Food Network. Yeah, we got pulled like that. <laughs> you know, we cool. Uh, he was super nice. Really just talked to us about aging whiskey and the barrels and all the fun stuff. After the tour, we were met with another delicious cocktail. And then it was time to take pictures with Robert Irvine. That's a glass of picture. Well, after all that drinking, I needed something to eat. So I got a pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw, pickles, and chips. All the proceeds from the food went to an amazing charity that helps vets and first responding families. After a good deal of drinking and eating and taking lots of pictures, it was time to get on the bus and go home. As we head back to the city with our hearts full of joy and our bodies full of alcohol, someone managed to bring a bag of pretzels and a bag of chips that we all munched on so we would not be fully intoxicated by the time we got back to the city. But it was a great day. Lots of alcohol, friends, and cheeriness. I had so much fun. When I mean I had so much fun, and of course, girls with blue hair have way more fun like way way more fun not blondes blue hair yes yes the blue hair was but at the distillery i didn't get as drunk as i thought i was like i was prepared to get drunk i took off work the next day i didn't i'm excited but i want to give a special shout out to boardroom distillery for hosting us 
and Philly influencer mixer, Davida Janae, and all my friends. Hey y'all, hey. I had so much fun. We ate good food, we drank good drink, and like you just heard, I met Food Network chef Robert Irvine. Yes, yes, I did. I like, a, I like an older British man that's all built and stuff. He's strong, he's so strong. He's cute though. Get it. Hey, hey Robert Irvine. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching The Mill Files. Thank you so much, all 13 of y'all. I love y'all for watching. Keep supporting. Keep subscribing. Subscribe. See, watch them. Boom. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the bell button. Hit the bell button. And once again, y'all know. Stay milfy. Hey, fellas. Stay dilfy. I'll see you next week.